All right, here we are towards uh, the evening. Um, have some liquid manure um, to unload here. Um, just kind of like testing out some uh, stuff. Got uh, some more solid manure. Um, we have a pretty dirty TA320 right now, row crop. Running uh, 25,000 liters in our field trailer. Gonna buzz on. We have a uh, silo here with silage. Got our uh, little uh, 160 horsepower tractor there at the front end loader. We have a chop straw mod on here too. I have the lane script. Uh, went ahead and fixed the fruit register uh, script. So now they show up in the PDA. The weed mod doesn't conflict anymore. Added oats to the map. Working on adding beef and pigs. Fix the steering wheel so it doesn't spin at like a thousand revolutions. Adjusted the indoor and outdoor cameras.
I'm really glad that they started focusing on New Holland on this game because in 13 there wasn't much for New Holland and now they have unbelievably gorgeous combines and tractors, details, nice models. I know there's already enough case equipment that will eventually be converted over. There's enough John Deere, I mean, um, a lot of, like Big Boss modding um, and Raphael teamed up to finish the 9R series. So there's, there's going to be a nice track deer coming and there's obviously going to be an articulating wheel version with it. Um, they're working on the Kins 16-row uh, planter, so that'll be a nice American uh, uh, planter for corn and soybeans. Um, I know that they're working on, um, since I helped him uh, with the MR series of his New Holland Combines, he's been working on, uh, like a, I think it's a 2100 uh, minimum vertical till uh, pull type. So he's been working, uh, He's has that in the works, but I think he's busy out harvesting uh, barley or whatever whatever they're harvesting, so it might take a while. Um, but there's, um, there's a lot of good mods in the works right now. And it's really not that difficult. Uh, I think it's actually easier to mod. Um, in scripts for uh, 15 than it was in 13. The reason I say that, I mean, once you understand how to make a spec map to get everything dirty, I mean, but that's not even a requirement to have it dirty. I mean, you can have a mod that doesn't get dirty. But because there's so many specializations that um, are standard scripted, it's really nice. Like, you don't have to script every single component on your mod to get dirty. Um, you just make a, you just AO texture it and make a map of the model and then you're done, you know. So that's a lot of time and effort there. You don't have to make a million dirt texture maps. So in that aspect it's easy. Um, interactive features still work in 15. The drive control mod has manual start, indoor sounds, shuttle shifting, everything you'd ever want. I mean, it's one one mod has like four or five scripts built into it. Um, Forestry, there's a lot of good uh, mods for forestry. Um, the uh, train, this this um, this used to kind of like bug out, like there used to be patches missing in the fields on the 13 version of this, but ever since 15 came out, it's like they fixed uh, like block shape IDs. So like the chop straw and this GMM mod, uh, you can you can increase the um, view distance of your crops if you want, but it doesn't doesn't like have kind of like random patches of, of foliage missing like kind of happened in uh, 13. So that was a, f a, a bug I think they fixed in, uh, from 13 to 15, which was really good because that really bothered me. It had nothing to do with computer performance. It had to do with block shape ID. So I mean people are like convinced it had to do with computer specs. It had nothing to do with your computer at all. You can change the view distance down to, to 10, and it would still do it. It had nothing to do you know, Change your crop view distance up to 300, it would do the same thing. It had nothing to do with computer performance. Um, but yeah. So, originally I was using a fruit register script uh, for, for multi-fruit, and it seemed to work well. However, I ran into an issue where it wouldn't show up in the PDA. Um, but that using that script, it, the the weed, the herbicide mod worked, and then I switched to two different loot uh, uh, scripts for individual fruits, and then the herbicide mod was like crashing my game. So we um, changed the all-in-one 
silo mod we updated the fruit register scripts so everything is up to date works well no errors no crashing uh, everything shows up in the PDA for example we'll go here we have everything um, is now oat soybean alfalfa is available um, obviously uh, soybean and oats are really expensive should probably adjust the price um, but you can see growing 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 this is soybeans here um, you can see that the soybeans now show up alfalfa shows up um, I don't have any oat currently planted but it all shows up in PDA, the, the PDA now before it never did so I'm really excited about that and um, so I don't have anything in my silos yet that's good really uh, happy how everything has come together uh, this area used to lag um, fix the lag here so excited about that this is the newest little addition to my New Holland mod fleet um, really cool uh, edit of the 320 row crop I think I think the uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update the the 1090, uh, put some ATI tracks on it. I'll probably make a second mod and just um, purchase it. I'll probably buy a second Pete Peterbilt and Wilson grain trailer because I have a huge grain cart, so I need. Um, I need two, co I'll essentially need two combines. And, uh, the grain cart I, I have, I have it over at the dealership. Um, dual wheel grain cart has capacity of 77,000, so you can essentially almost fill two, uh, two trailers with it with a one full grain car but to fill a grain car with 77,000 liters you, you pretty much need two, two, two large combines going chopping uh, cutting uh, irrigated corn or irrigated uh, wheat notes The, the T9700 over here uh, makes quick work. I usually run that with course play. Um, There's a grand guard you can see over by the dealership. Big dual uh, dual wheel uh, grain cart over there. It's just a standard in game that's been exported uh, uh, with some dual wheels from the combine slapped on it and kind of like widened the whole frame was widened added uh, soybean and oat fruit, uh, fruit fill types um, oh actually I want to show you guys something really cool so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this because I'm gonna accelerate time 
I don't like to. This is the uh, same game that I play on, not multiplayer. Uh, all right. So this is uh, the uh, New Holland Combine. Where. I'll show you guys. This is um, the Flex Draper pack. I exported the case in New Holland in game so I can add uh, soybean fill type to it. So I'll just unfold my car. Uh, yeah, updated uh, soybean textures with block shape IDs. I'm gonna go ahead and accelerate time. I had the growth growth um, time set to four days per growth stage, so it's gonna go on fast forward time here. Withering is obviously turned off. But at least it'll get to see some nice sunsets, sunrises. Great demand for silage. Alright. So it's kind of towards the evening now again. Got our uh, soybeans ready to harvest now. The mod I use with just accelerate time mod. I turn on our beacons, obviously. And I want. Disable. Got our soybean animations. Harvesting irrigated soybeans, people. Chop straw and everything. A little bit of stubble. Soybeans are yielding fantastic. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do that. Just so we can have our GPS. Knock it down to something like that. I also have the uh, case 3164, 62 or something, something like that. I think this combine would look sweet with ATI tracks. I wish they had a uh, a HUD, like some numbers in CAD that would show yield. That'd be amazing. Like on the monitor here, like they have RPM and speed, but if they could show like yield or like make up like a moisture, there's like a moisture mod, so you would have to actually like dry your crops. I think that would be really cool and add to the enhancement of the game. You know, instead you just kind of like harvest and you bring, you can sell it. But it's a little bit more realistic now with chop straw and the GMM mods, and I have the the herbicide mod, so weeds grow. Um, so you have to do a little maintenance there. That that will drop your yield if you're harvesting with weeds. Um, I really want the soil management mod to come out for 15. 
the universal process kit mod is getting converted to 15 so that will have capacities on silos which I think is pretty cool So, like I said, this, this drive control mod has a door slam. 6.1 miles an hour, 1300 RPM. But I wish it would show me the yield. I can't imagine it would be that difficult. I mean, it shows, like, it tracks the distance and it tracks you like you're working with. So you can just calculate, like, your... Make, like, a, a script that calculates the working width of the, the header and, like, how many liters are... Um, your harvesting versus like your your speed because you can calculate how much area you're covering by speed and area uh, time and distance and then you can you know divide your uh, fruit by that that figure and it'll give you a yield per 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 acre per hectare whatever you want and then you can just like strip it so it displays a figure you know using the number shader. So, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to write a script for it to get a real-time yield monitor. Just an idea. I mean, it won't revolutionize the game, but it'd be really fun to uh, see what your yield is. It probably wouldn't change much. Like, if you're harvesting in all irrigated or fertilized crops, it would be pretty much the same the whole time. Unless you get into areas like this where it's kind of partially fertilized, partially not. Gotta watch so I don't run over my crops. <laughs> Whoops! So this is um, field number three. If I use this, save it as field number three, and I can go here and it will. Uh, if I go up to field three and I uh, calculate this, it will tell me that this field is 7.65 hectares. Um, it will cost me uh, 7600 to seed it with alfalfa, 1600 for barley, 4000 for canola, and so on and so on. It tells you how much it will cost and how many liters it will take to plant um, but I have it I have the attachment joint on the combine to flex. So this is kind of weird because there's like a, a, ga uh, a gap in the middle of it. It works best if it's slanted on one side or the, or the other. So we're now at 50% on soybeans. I don't know, I just, everything looks so small now after being on this, with this big combine, this 45 Ford Draper header, Flex Draper header, nice uh, little soybean animations, kind of funny looking, but what can you do?
So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. Uh, Slowly adding purchasable fields, it's just sort of pain in the butt. Just because there's these are not square fields, so it takes a long time to put in corners and make everything look uh, right. So you get the entire field and it doesn't overlap with another field and so on and so forth. Um, lots of little nitpicky details that I'm trying to focus on. But as of now, the map is lock, you know, error, error free in the log with an exception of some weird texture issues um, for the JB Hunt trailer and Schneider semi trailers, which are just two little objects that really serve no purpose in the game. Um, but it's just kind of a decoration. They could be removed. I have the grain cart so it can um, accept soybeans and I have my Wilson uh, semi-trailer so it can accept soybeans and oats and uh, I, I will need to eventually get a trailer for like wood chips and stuff because I have uh, I went ahead and purchased a wood chipper so I wanted to see what that was like. Another thing I noticed, I think we have to wait for Giants to release some more scripts, but a lot of a lot of these scripts don't work in multiplayer, like the Chop Straw doesn't really work in multiplayer, the GM GMM mod doesn't work in multiplayer. Um, the Wheel Lane mod doesn't work in multiplayer. can't harvest soybeans. Like, I'm harvesting now, but I'm up that player, and I can't. Even though everything's compatible, everything's working, so I don't, I don't know what the issue is with that. Uh, fermenting silos don't work in multiplayer. Like, a lot of mods don't work in multiplayer right now. It's like, you can only use standard in-game stuff, nothing, nothing extra. Which is unfortunate. Guess we just have to be patient. The soybeans in rows has a little bit of height variance, a little bit of width variance, but you can see the header kind of like tilts and flexes a bit. It's not in the header, it's in the attacher joint on the combine, so all headers will do that. Which is a nice, easy way, so it's just less messing around with scripts and such. So, it will standard modded headers, any kind of header you put on the combine will have flex to it. So you only have to do it once.
can actually see the straw in the mirror. It's pretty cool. I don't like this flickering. This flickering bothers me. So, just to prove my point... Oh, this has, uh, hold on, I need to unload this quick. I'll we'll just go ahead and Unload in our wheel search really quick. Probably should have load up on the jack, but I don't really care. Because it's not real life. This is the green card I was talking to you about. Pretty cool. And what? Wide load, gotta turn on those blinkers. Hazard, hazard lights. Got a little water there. Hopefully we can squeeze through this steel girder bridge. Nice gravel texture, some dirt textures, in the lake, or a river here. It's kind of perfect right down to the uh, steel green bridge. Got some forests, forestry trees that are ready to get destroyed. Some corn. Oh. 
Nice big field here. Yeah, nice dairy farm there. New road textures. Apparently those soybeans aren't growing. Harvested wheat field. Conagra. Another huge uh, soy. These two soybean fields. Uh, more soybeans down there. Uh, have two fields. Uh, and then at the very far end over there is another large field, about 10, 10 hectares, you know, about 25 acres. These two fields are combined 44 hectares right, right here between these two. They're like 20, 20 and 25 or 24. Uh, this was like 7.6 or something like that. So that's like 20 acre field. This is like 120 plus acres. So we have a good like four or five hundred acres in this region of crops. A lot of a lot of soybean. And there you go. We got our soybeans. And that's where I'm going to stop the video.